Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently got a chance to see The Martian, and <clears throat> strangely enough, uh, my friend and I were going to see The Scorch Trials, but that particular uh, projector wasn't working <laughs> in the cinema, so we went to see uh, The Martian for free. And honestly, it was absolutely fantastic. It was a tremendous film, and is worth, it's definitely worth seeing. It's, uh, <coughs> it's about the, um, tenacity of humanity's will <laughs> to survive. That is basically the crux of the whole film. I'm not going to talk too much about plot here, because if I do, it'll ruin it. And if you've seen the trailer, you know what the film entails. Um, <coughs> it was absolutely fascinating. And a lot of the um, the ideas that we have in our generation of colonizing other planets and terraforming are explored. And, of course, there's one particular moment at the beginning of the film where I have to suspend disbelief because I don't know if that would really happen on Mars. <laughs> and Neil deGrasse Tyson talks about that, too. He, he actually uh, tweeted something about it a long time ago. And, honestly, I can say I agree with him. I don't think that would happen on Mars. I just don't believe in that. Uh, that was the only uh, quibble I had because I like accuracy. Um, of course, Hollywood isn't known for that. Um, but despite all of that, this, the film comes across as uh, being very scientific in its um, facts and empiricism. And it is a very um, <coughs> marvelous movie. It is absolutely um, mesmerizing when you see it. And <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, with uh, films like this, even with maritime movies, I, I find myself very relaxed and chilled. And <laughs> it's only when something really perilous happens that I find my heart just <laughs> literally pounding through my chest. And there were uh, there was a moment where you know you have that with the main character played by Matt Damon and uh, Jose Pena is in it and Kristen Wiig. Um, and the the cast is absolutely dazzling. I, I just think that they did a spectacular job. Um, <clears throat> movie itself gets five five stars, hands down. Two thumbs, way way up for me. Uh, soundtrack was uh, absolutely beautiful. I, I love <clears throat> movies like that, and like Interstellar and Gravity had similar soundtracks that I, I really enjoy, and it used a lot of instruments that I had never heard before in a symphonic um, sense, and it was very uh, unique in that in that uh, in that way, just uh, different. Uh, it, it just uh, gives a lot of food for thought, <clears throat> and makes you wonder if this is actually possible. The vision itself, I think, is, even though it's theoretical, and it gives you a lot to ponder, especially when you're thinking about uh, our planet in and of itself, and um, <laughs> it's the only one we have, unless you count... Hi, Griffin. Come here. Poor boy. Come here. I know you're worried about Papa. I'm going to talk about that in a minute here. But... Um, you good boy. But, um, I know. He's comforting me. <laughs> he knows something's wrong. But, um, anyway, um, there's a lot <coughs> to process. And, um, it's a movie that anybody can understand. I think if you have more scientific knowledge, it will benefit you. Because there are a lot of things that I thought were kind of predictable. But, still, um, I really enjoyed it as a whole, and it, and it was, are you talking to me? And it was uh, really quite wonderful. Um, now, this uh, week, I had an infected finger. It, it's still on the mend. It's it's almost healed. Uh, just your typical paraonchia. Um, but um, my flexor can move. I mean, there really isn't any pain when I hit it, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> The other thing that happened today is uh, Dad had to go to the hospital. He had had uh, surgery yesterday. He had two lesions removed, one cyst on his back and kind of a nodule on his inner thigh, and he just didn't feel right. So I called 911. He actually requested I do. 
had been feeling numb in his fingers. And yeah, that's not something you take lightly. It's a definite sign of trouble, especially with a heart patient. So he's been taken to the emergency room to be sought after, and he's over in St. Francis. So um, they are, they're taking care of him. Um, <clears throat> I don't know anything else to say other than, you know, I kind of had a feeling that maybe this would happen at some point in time. But um, I'm not really panicked about it. I'm not worried because I know who's in control. But I don't really like talking too much about myself. And I just wanted everybody to know out there, the people who watch me and et cetera, what was going on. And <clears throat> Of course, as you can see, some other things are happening as well. I'm not going to talk about here, but um, over the weekend, we're going to be going through some major renovations. So that'll happen, and then everything will be put back, and I will be good. So, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of stressful, but other than that, you know, I can't complain. Uh, work is going well. Um, I'm not expecting a promotion right away like I thought, but I think that uh, in 90 more days, which will be next year, I should be concerning, considering or maybe hearing something about a promotion. I hope I get it, because uh, if I do get it, it means more pay and <clears throat> more responsibility, but I think I can handle it, and it would be more of a desk job. I, I could do a lot of physical activity here and not have any problem and still look great. Um, that's basically all I have to say about The Martian. Um, it's so much better than Red Mars, which uh, the book series is far better, and the film itself is complete tripe. It's awful. Don't even bother with it. <laughs> just trust me on this. It's it's just awful. <laughs> and I don't even know why they decided to create <laughs> such a waste of celluloid, but they did. Wrong, wrong cast, wrong crew, wrong director. Just everything about it was wrong. Um, well, that's my, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> Do not watch Red Mars. Watch The Martian instead. <laughs>